welcome to our very first video discussion. I'm Marlena and this is Zulema and we're the founders of FACTS. Uh, we want to open today's conversation by telling you a little bit about who we are. Um, and we want to do this um, by explaining the foundations of FACTS. Um, our tagline is Reforming Fashion, Transforming the World. And in our first two series, we're going to cover the first part of that tagline, which is Reforming Fashion. Yes, we have a few problems with the fashion industry, but today we're just going to focus on the first problem, which is commodification, or what we like to call blind shopping. The problem at large is that the fashion industry currently exploits labor forces and cultures throughout the world. We may know, we may have a vague idea of where um, the products that we buy come from, but we have no idea about their culture of origin, how they were used in that culture, or even how the products were made. Right now, the fashion industry does not tell us the story behind, our pro behind their fashion products, not how the products are made, and not the origins of the cloth or the garment. What this does is it makes us blind shoppers. We may not want to support companies or products that are made by children getting paid 10 cents an hour on the other side of the world. But at the same time, we also don't take the extra effort to care or find out about these issues. What we don't know won't hurt us, right? Wrong. Just because we don't know something is happening or we choose to ignore that something is happening doesn't mean that it stops happening. We believe that there should be more transparency in the fashion industry and all businesses for that matter so that we the consumers can know exactly what we are supporting when we are buying their products. Now the second part of blind shopping is that we also lose the history and the meaning behind an item. It's no longer special or valuable and it's much easier for us to just simply discard it when it's out of fashion. It becomes waste. In the U.S. alone, we generate 12.7 million tons of textile waste, cloth waste specifically. Only 1.9 million tons of this is actually repurposed. So that waste ends up going to landfills and destroying our environment. Right now, we have a system where we buy products that are in season, and then we easily discard them when they go out of style. Our logo represents a new system, a more sustainable system one where we buy only those products that are eco-friendly and follow fair labor practices. And then, instead of discarding those items, we donate them or repurpose them for reuse. Changing these consumption patterns will not only help us reduce waste, but also will, it will help us be kinder to the earth and our fellow human beings. We hope that you will not only support our cause, but also join us in our effort to make fashion more sustainable, more eco-friendly, and more responsible. We thank you for joining us in this first discussion. If you check back very soon, we'll have the second discussion in this series in which we will address some of the issues that we have with the fashion industry. Again, thank you, and check back soon.